what's up YouTube this is Jay Hart doing my first video uh, recently purchased some Solomon mid GTX hiking boots <clears throat> back in uh, February been wearing them for about uh, three months probably put about 30 miles on them and I figured I'd do my first YouTube video as a uh, review of the Solomon boots that, that I've been hiking in so first off just to uh, give you a little bit more about me uh, I currently live in Alaska you know do a ton of hunting uh, do hiking throughout the year I've uh, used these hiking boots uh, since February, so it's been the winter season uh, breakup, which if you've been to Alaska can the, can be pretty treacherous. I mean, you get uh, you know feet of water just standing in uh, tons of areas. And uh, now that it's May in uh, kind of the muddy season, but uh, definitely getting a little drier now. I bought these boots from REI. They cost about 104 bucks. They just happened to be on sale, and that's part of the, part of the reason why I bought them. I actually uh, started using the Solomon X Ultra 3s about two years ago, used them for uh, hiking. You know, I did uh, a couple of 20 mile hikes uh, through the wilderness, including the Kasugi Ridge and Denali State Park and uh, Crow Pass and the Chugach State Park. And they held up wonderfully. I mean, they're, they're waterproof and they're super comfortable and I love them. And in addition, I, I did a bunch of hunting with them, did uh, caribou hunting uh, in the mountains and did some moose hunting as well, which gets pretty rainy and wet and they kept me dry and, and kept my feet warm. So <clears throat> I figured with Solomon's performance in my experience, why not give a different boot a try? And these rated relatively well in REI, rated about a 4.2 and the X Ultra 3 is actually rated a little bit lower at uh, 4.18 or something like that. So this is what the boot looks like. In terms of comfort, uh, to be honest, this is a relatively comfortable boot. Uh, I wouldn't say it's as comfortable as the X Ultra 3s that I so love, but uh, but it is relatively comfortable. Uh, one of the great things about this boot is it actually weighs a little bit less than the X Ultra 3s. Uh, so, you know, if you're doing a, a lot of hiking, it's definitely nice to not have as much weight on your feet. Uh, I mean, y your boots can get quite heavy after after some miles, and it's definitely nice to ha definitely nice to have a, a, a lighter boot to hike in. The only issue is is really the fit in terms of the comfort. The the boot is a little narrow at the widest part of your foot, and uh, for me personally, it, it gets a little taxing at first. And then once you start hiking around a little bit, you, you don't really notice it as much. But after you put you know four or five miles in, you definitely start to notice it when your feet start getting a little more tired, and you can feel it a little bit more in your feet. So. This is the section I'm talking about where it gets uh, a little narrow. So m my understanding, if you've watched a couple of other uh, reviews on, on Solomon boots, or if you've read some of the reviews online, is the, the fit issue is actually related to the country that the boots are manufactured in. So there's two countries that the boots are manufactured in. One is India and one is Vietnam. And apparently the India boots are a little more loose, a little, little better fitting for most people. And the ones in Vietnam are a little tighter on the feet and uh, you know a little more petite. So just so happens that the, the mid GTX boots that I've recently purchased are manufactured in Vietnam. So in, in terms of uh, breathability, these are Gore-Tex lines, so they are waterproof. Uh, I haven't had any issues in terms of, of breathability. You know, my, my foot stays warm, doesn't get sweaty, uh, but it does stay warm in the boot. As I said, I did use these boots in, in the, you know, late winter season here in Alaska. So was hiking around in the snow, was hiking around in, in you know, 10 to 30 degree weather. And like I said, I, I didn't have any issues in terms of my feet getting too hot or my feet getting too cold. It was actually just fine. I mean, it was, exactly what I would expect out of a boot like this. So as I also said, uh, it, it is a waterproof boot. Uh, it is Gore-Tex lines, which is pretty important here in the state of Alaska. You know, as, as I stated previously, I use the X-Ultra 3s to do a lot of hiking, uh, but I also use them for hunting. And hunting is one of the main pur purposes I actually use these boots. I don't like big hunting boots because they weigh too much. And when you're hiking up some mountainous terrain, it, it just gets way too taxing for me personally. <clears throat> you know, although, 
I do normally use these for hunting uh, because they have been so durable. I actually will not take the GTX boots that I recently purchased hunting. And there's a couple of reasons why. One of the, one of the first reasons why is the, the mesh material that's used. Although it does say it's it's waterproof, I have read some reviews that that you know people complain that it lost its waterproof capabilities very quickly. I haven't had that issue yet, but you know in September in the rainy season when you're hiking through uh, brush and your feet are getting wet, it, it's it's pretty easy for things to get pushed to their limits. The other reason I I won't take these boots hunting is because of the laces. So with the X Ultra 3, they have round laces that were stitched very ruggedly and I had absolutely no concern about the, the laces breaking. You know, it, hunting in Alaska, I very routinely break through laces on, on hunting boots and, and other types of uh, footwear and never had that concern with the X Ultra 3s. But given the lace type uh, with the GTX hiking boots, I mean, it's basically a tennis shoe lace. I, I just don't have the confidence in, in the capability of the shoe. So this is the uh, mesh, mesh material and I'll put some photos just so you can see a little closer what it looks like. And then this is the shoelace. So as you can see it's I mean literally just a tennis shoelace. To give you a comparison, this is what the X Ultra 3s look like. You can see it's definitely a little more rugged in the toe. And the shoelace is a, a round shoelace with a bunch of stitching in it. Might be a little hard for you to see, but I'll try and put some close up photos for you. So another thing that uh, people typically worry about is arch support. And to be completely honest with you, I have a relatively flat foot. So arch support isn't something that uh, I, I look for a whole lot. I feel like my foot is being strained in any way. So I don't feel like there's too much arch support. But then again, uh, if you do have a higher arch, this might not be a, a boot that you're interested in. So if I had to list uh, three pros about this boot, I would say it's relatively cost effective. I mean, $100 for a waterproof boot that is, you know, likely gonna last you a good season or two is a relatively relatively good price. Overall, the, the boot is lightweight, which is, you know, definitely a pro if you're, you're hiking plenty of miles in the woods. And the third is that it simply feels like a tennis shoe. I mean, it, it's, uh, relatively comfortable in that manner. It, it doesn't feel like you've got a, you know, big brick on your, on your, on your foot and, you know, definitely wears like a tennis shoe and it's got the, the cushion of a tennis shoe and definitely when you're walking in it, I mean, you could use this in town and, and you probably wouldn't know, notice much of a difference between a pair of tennis shoes and the boot. If I had a list three cons, I would say the very first one is the construction. I mean, to be honest with you, the construction just seems much poorer than the X Ultra 3s. I mean, the shoelaces don't look like they're, they're gonna last very long, and I, I actually have some concerns about the mesh and, and, and the waterproof capabilities lasting, you know, throughout the entire summer season here in Alaska. The second con would be the, the narrow fit of the, the widest part of the boot. You know, at, when you first wear the boot, you definitely notice it and, you know, it kind of goes away after a little bit after your foot gets a little used to it. But after you put a few miles on the boot, you know, you start to feel it again when your feet start to get a little more uh, taxed and, and worn out throughout the day. The uh, third con, and this might actually tie into the first one, is the Contra Grip Sole. So although this has a contra grip sole, just like the X Ultra 3s, if you take a close look at the patterns, the, the patterns on the GTX boot doesn't seem to have as, as much uh, sole to trail ratio as the contra grips on the X Ultra 3s. And you know, when you're hiking around and it's rainy outside and you're hiking on rocks, you know, you, 
you got to worry about slipping and falling in the backwoods and breaking an ankle, spraining your ankle. Because uh, here in Alaska, that could be the difference between life or death. I mean, having to get mad back out, it's not a good day. This is the uh, comparison of the contra grips. So as you can see, this one, it's just a little flat. This one actually has kind of like tire tread. And these are the X Ultra 3s. These are the mid GTX. So I know that was a relatively quick review. Uh, it's my first video, so I know I'm gonna have some improvements I need to make uh, throughout the next couple of, of reviews that I do. And I'm gonna continue to put reviews up here of uh, you know hiking gear, some running shoes, probably some hunting gear, uh, likely some stuff from Kuyu, some stuff from Stone Glacier. And uh, definitely look forward to feedback from, from everyone on, on how I can make some improvements in the videos. Overall, it's been an interesting experience for my first video and I look forward to making a couple more. See you soon.